So it's called the Founding Mothers Movement, and it is a grand plan, a grand strategy to unite the women of the world, now that we have the technology to do this, and it is a strategic plan. Um, I've charted it out for two years. Um, the average successful nonviolent campaign lasts between three and four years. So the whole thing isn't charted, but let me give you the overview. So I have this quote from Rianne Eisler here. Partnerism is power with, not power over. It's a new social category that transcends the conventional polarities between right and left, capitalism and communism, religion and secularism, and even masculinism and feminism. We must unlink masculinity from domination and violence and femininity from subordination and obedience. <clears throat> so the vision is to transition humanity from patriarchy to partnership. And we are envisioning a global culture that empowers women, protects children, and ends war. We want to also shift the paradigm from militarism to partnerism. And we're acknowledging that there'll need to be an interim peacekeeping force in order to do that. So the goals are gender equity, global peace. Another goal is to have the international court um, have jurisdiction over resolving conflict. And our core values are set forth here as well. Um, we want to, the strategies are uniting the women's rights groups first, the peace group second, and the spirituality groups and religions. This is the same trifecta that the suffragettes used to demand change a hundred years ago. So I just wanted to tell you what the real history of Mother's Day is, at least in the United States. This woman, Julia Ward Howe, wrote the Mother's Day Proclamation in 1870. And she says, Arise all women who have hearts. Our husbands shall not come to us, reeking of carnage for caresses and applause. Our sons shall not be taken from us to unlearn all that we have been able to teach them of charity, mercy, and patience. In the name of womanhood and humanity, I earnestly ask that a general Congress of women without limit of national na nationality be appointed and start meeting. This actually happened in response to the Mother's Day Proclamation, the early suffragettes in the United States and around the world started meeting. And they met nine times from 1878 to 1921. Later, the Women's Congress was renamed the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom. And they have continued to operate. They're coming up on their 35th um, Women's Congress. So here again is just a visual of what we're envisioning. So step one is getting the women's groups united. Step two is unifying all the peace groups around the world. And step three is the religious peace. And at the Oracle Institute and Peace Pentagon, we've been operating in all three of these spheres for a long time. And again, we think there's enough technology and enough interconnectivity now that we can do this. this. This would be a movement like the world has never seen. This is a timetable. We actually did, if you see International Women's Day yesterday, we did have the first meeting of the Founding Mothers Commission. And the idea is that this um, is going to operate for a couple months until we have a Women's Congress on Mother's Day. We also want to publish on Gandhi's birthday, on the International Day of Nonviolence, we want to publish the Founding Mothers Manifesto, and that will have our list of demands, which will be very precise. The Founding Mothers Commission is forming right now. There was no Indian woman on the call yesterday, so we very, very much want a representative from India, and I think it should be from WCPA. Um, and again, we, um, the plan is, we, yesterday we launched the commission, March 8th. Over the next two months, these are the goals. And then on Mother's Day, we want to have the first Congress. Um, I'm not going to go into this slide too much, but we do have these URLs, foundingmothers.world, global and earth. We've got these URLs banked now, Women's Congress. And at this first session, we're envisioning a one-day virtual uh, Congress. The manifesto is going to have three major parts. 
There's going to be a declaration of planetary peace and partnership that for those of you know how the founding of the United States happened, that's sort of like the Declaration of Independence piece of this document. And it will have a unit of narrative and a new planetary story about our common heritage and our common destiny. Then this, the next piece will be the World Constitution for Women. This is going to be the legal section where we have um, set forth legal rights for women, including reproductive rights. And then the last piece of the manifesto will be the peace plan. And again, we, we're seeing the need to transition from militarism and use the military industrial complex as a peacekeeping force, and then give the International Court of Justice mandatory jurisdiction to resolve disputes. We've thought up some campaigns. Um, again, I, I, we're on a tight time frame. It's going to keep moving. Um, but we want to start January 1st of 2025, even if it's something as simple as women going out once a week and banging pots for 10 minutes. We'll hear this all over the world. We're envisioning the first global women's strike on International Women's Day next March 8th. And we've come up with some really clever ideas like this Red Tent Strike. The Red Tent is a book about when the paradigm shift from polytheism to male monotheism. And we want to honor our sisters in the Middle East who are suffering the most. So this is a week long strike where men join us and help us set red tents up all over the world. We also want to connect the peace Pentagon down here to the war Pentagon up here. <laughs> and this would be, a, it's going to take about 25 days. You know, Gandhi took 24 days for the salt march. And we're going to be stopping at some important places. If Trump is reelected, God forbid, there is, a, <laughs> there is a winery, a Trump winery. And we thought that one might be a good place to camp for the night. And then also with this little detour, we can hit the homes of some of the founding fathers. So Monticello is where Thomas Jefferson lives. Montpelier is where James Madison lived. And he did our Constitution, the first draft. And then up here, Mount Vernon is where George Washington lives. And then we make our way to the War Pentagon. We also see lawsuits. Um, all our heroes, Gandhi, Martin Luther King, use the courts. So the kellogg Briand Pact was supposed to be the treaty to end all wars, but it didn't have an enforcement mechanism. But we think we should file a lawsuit on it and bring the world's attention back to this historic treaty. In America, we also want to bring a First Amendment lawsuit for religious freedom and abortion rights. And just a quick note about we're entering the fifth wave of feminism. The first wave was focused on voting rights. The second wave focused on civil rights. This third wave focused on family rights. Then most recently, we've been focusing on LGBTQ rights. But this fifth wave is focused on gender equity and parity and partnerism. So it's a balanced approach to what I call the law of gender. And unfortunately, we have lost rights all over the world, but predominantly in America right now. So this fifth wave of, fe of feminism is very important. We also need to map this movement very carefully. So we want people who understand this model, Spiral Dynamics, and the Spectrum of Consciousness, this is our sweet spot. These are the people who understand world-centric uh, views and you know, love diversity and, and comprehend unity and diversity, but we don't want to lose anyone. We want to bring women and peace groups and others from these stages of understanding as well. And if you know integral theory, this is the quadrant we're going to work in. It's the third quadrant of culture. Before we can change government systems, and for instance, like the Earth Constitution, we need to generate the energy and the power in this we third quadrant. So that's the purpose for the Founding Mothers Movement, is to get the energy built here to demand change here. Lastly, I think we're entering this fifth paradigm, the Hopi call it the fifth world, but it will be a time of integrating the Godhead, and it's happening right now. Um, if you ask most, most, not most, but if you ask many humans today, what is God? They will say things like, it's truth. That was Gandhi's favorite word for God. It's love. It's light. So we want to remember our prior unity. 
and we want to start working on our meta unity. Uh, lastly, we also think this movement is going to need regional hubs. So we're offering up our campus as a regional hub for the Founding Mothers Movement. And we're noting that intentional communities like Damanhur would be very important. Hopefully ashrams like Oroville and in India will be very important. And we'll need centers, physical centers. It can't all be a virtual movement. And I just have this fun quote here. Did you know Virginia has two Pentagons? More and more people know that it does. And this is Barbara Marks Hubbard's famous quote, that we need a peace room as sophisticated as a war room. So if you're interested in this movement, please, um, please get in touch with me. And it's been an honor. I just hit stop share, but it looks like it's not stopping yet. Hold on. There we go. It's been a, a great honor to present this morning. And thank you very much thank you very much thank you very thank much you. we were all so engrossed yeah. that we forgot that where we are and how the clock yeah. came thank you so yeah. much yeah. and uh, without wasting time i would uh, <coughs> invite dr ayu ayula dr ayu ayula kindly come to the panel start your delivery and with this, yeah. a kind request to all the other joinees to kindly keep, keep their mics on mute mode so that we don't have uh, any disturbance in the recording process. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I hope you can hear me, please. Ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. You're audible. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. The Federation Earth, the World um, Constitution Parliament Association has a women forum. And um, basically, we, we, we talk about the Constitution. The Constitution federates the nations under a world system that can deal with our global problems. We know there are so much problems now that are really overwhelming. We have the climate crisis. We have uh, inequality. We have wars. And these are beyond the scope of any nation. For example, in Article 1 of the Constitution of the Federation Earth, it specifies this functions of the Earth Federation government. One, it says to end war and disarm the nations. Two, it says to protect universal human rights, including social and economic rights, and the right to a healthy planetary environment. When we talk about universal human rights, we're talking about women rights, basically, too. So that, that's also a big issue. Are women uh, equally, I mean, uh, equal terms with men? We said that all are equal that's what we have on our banner today are we truly equal i mean i mean is there equity what is there to show that the man and the woman have the same opportunity politically socially and economically so we need to protect universal human rights including the social and economic um, rights to eliminate unfair social differences and establish reasonable prosperity for all people all people all people that includes women to regulate world interactions, protecting the environment and equitable use of the Earth's resources. When the Earth's resources are not used equitably, what happens? Women suffer most. Even climate crisis, women suffer most. So every time women suffer most. So we need to keep talking about it until we get there. We know that um, without women, obviously there's no development. No, no nation develops without women. Go down history and you see that. So to regulate world interactions, protecting the environment and equitable use of the earth resources is very critical to protect all planetary ecology and create a sustainable global economy and to address all problems that are beyond the scope of nations. That's why we have World Constitution Parliament Association. And we have a women forum, women forum for that because what we're trying to say is you need to carry the women along without them there will be no development no sustainability so it's it's important it's our human rights we're not begging i mean it's it's what we, we we've got to be given because it's our rights it's it's intrinsic it's not something that um, we need to really fight for but fighting for it tells you that a whole lot is abnormal so we also talk about the planet because when you look at environment, it's affecting all of us, but women bear the brunt mostly. So a living planet is a sustainable economy. 
ecological soundness that is all inclusive in worldview and a world of human beings where we are all thriving. Not one part is left behind. We need a world of compassionate beings, a world where people know that when a human being suffers in a particular region, humanity suffers because we're all one and same humanity. So we need a world of compassionate human beings where everyone flourish, where peace means not just the absence of war, but dignity for all, all, dignity for children, dignity for women, dignity for men, prosperity for all, human rights for all, equality for all, and environmental health in all life forms. So this is what we do uh, as women, as a women forum. We try to advocate for these. We try to bring awareness, sensitization on what the world constitution is. This is the way to go. Capitalism is not the way to go because a whole lot is happening. We can see famine around the world, lack of food shortages. People are suffering. More people suffer in the world and more women suffer. So the world constitution of the Federation Health is a holistic design for what works and it brings into being a worldwide democracy. So th th this explains why it is true and inclusive and is also a true and inclusive part for a sustainable future for our living planet, not just for us, for the entire planet. Thank you. Hello. I think I think it looks like my internet had gone off and I was just speaking to space. Dr. Guha, you are muted. It looks like my internet has been. Uh, am I still there? Yeah, ma'am, you are am there I? and yeah, you were audible and it was very clear that's not an issue. And Usha Shim, okay. kindly I, I, unmute I your mic. I was wondering because I didn't hear anything. <laughs> yeah, so you are all deep listening. Thank you. Yeah, so um, yeah, that's, that's what that's what the women forum actually is about we're, we're all doing the same thing but we're uh, uh, providing an angle where women are i mean carried along inclusivity diversity so that's what we're about thank you i don't so kind of you. some other person's yeah. time yeah, yeah very good yeah so dr Ushasi, please unmute. unmute unmute your mic usha ma'am Thank you very much, Dr. Ayo. And you have very rightly said that all human rights for all and the striving that you are doing, they are all showing directions for all the women to work, all the men to work for the world peace. That is something that you had mentioned. And uh, we are all looking for it to be established. And at the outset, now we have Dr. Professor P. Narsivar Murthy, who would be educating us on his subject. And Dr. Murthy, please come to the panel. Yes, you can start your speech. Dr. Hello, Murthy. everyone. Uh, I thank uh, Dr. Talesra for giving me this opportunity to, to speak in today's uh, event. Uh, much of has already been said by Dr. Uh, Dr. Lara, Reverend Lara and uh, Dr. Ayo. Uh, in fact, uh, I can say this, our dreams are coming true. First thing is we wanted to see this women's forum gets activated along with the regular WCPA work because as earlier speakers said, without women, Nature itself is not complete and the world is not complete. And how can we leave them behind and uh, 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 continue with any activity? And secondly, we had left out a huge continent, large continent, African continent, and we didn't have a representation. So I was always willing and uh, talking to Dr. Ayo to join this and uh, Somehow, I'm so sorry it, 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 it pulled on for a long time. Now I'm glad to see you speaking uh, energetically and this uh, women's forum will um, uh, become more and more dynamic now. Okay. Uh, I have uh, 
very few things to talk about uh, i'll not go into the history and uh, other stuff uh, i have a few points to talk about what is the role of uh, women and the women's forum under the earth constitution and uh, what is happening in wcpa as of now wcpa is a global human movement and its members are present in 109 countries numbers growing daily so many of you who wish to volunteer to help the work can help by adding the remaining countries in your capacity as global humanists so you wherever you have uh, connectivity you can you can add those countries uh, to the wcpa group secondly already 15 uh, provisional world parliament sessions have happened so far 16th is due to happen sometime in 2025 which also happens to be the 80th year of un as we all know though there is a little progress on a few aspects majorly un has been a dysfunctional body and women have a greater role to play as political leaders at this crucial juncture so some of you who have interest in uh, political arena can can take up a political role and build this uh, movement much stronger uh world district project has started world first world district has been launched from india which is shrirampur from maharashtra and second is from venezuela a uh, process to bring 1000 uh, world districts will reach a logical end soon uh the team which is working on uh, world districts will ramp up their activity and uh, we will soon have more world districts launched so women can play a greater role as administrators in managing this world district project article 19.2 provides for setting up of commissions under the earth constitution two commissions have already started others following soon women can identify the areas of their opportunities and interest and uh, work as global strategies in these commissions which are coming up uh, in due course as a preparatory step forums have been formed under wcpa the first one being world women's forum which is launched today which will connect with the women of the whole world very soon we wish to see all the 193 countries being represented on the women's forum i request each one of you to join the forum and start strategizing for the future in global women's forum women can play the role of social leaders next will be the world knowledge forum knowledge forum for academicians will uh, get launched next next month all academicians will join this uh, commission now we also have uh, next provisional world parliament coming up so we would need delegates represented by are uh, representing the world districts they come from so women can play the role of global statesman by representing uh, those world districts wcpa opens up options for interaction with other parts of the world this also opens up new avenues in the global economic sphere women can play a great role in solidifying the economic strength of their families country and the world through ethical business practices there's a plan to launch global cooperative a global cooperative uh will it not be a fantastic idea if it is wholly managed by women of the world it can be the first global women cooperative we should explore those uh, nitty gritty soon uh, women who are interested in taking up projects in the areas of uh, agriculture food health education environment can 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 take up the role of uh, project managers uh, in these projects uh world is facing the huge challenge from consumerism this has uh, eroded the value system in the society everybody is waiting for the other one to bell the cat 
women of the world can do this effectively and uh, bring the social values back this will solve half the world's problems so women can play great role of being change leaders uh, an additional information is uh, graduate school of world problems has started its journey i'll introduce the details uh, uh, in in an uh, uh, in another uh, event uh, it is my firm belief that women alone can find solution to ma major problems of the world and also demonstrate its efficacy by properly implementing it so i en encourage all women members of this forum to work with gswp that is graduate school on world problems women can play the role of problem solvers and policy makers so in india we have been speaking that uh, uh, we need a think tank uh, to strategizing and taking the policy decisions so this route can definitely help uh much of the women's initiatives suffer for lack of resources uh women need to build up a good plan to augment the necessary resources to implement their projects so women can be great financial managers and uh, we have a team of uh, professionals who can support you uh, from from the backdrop and uh, uh, we wish all success for the world women's forum wcpa women's forum uh, in becoming um, you know the light in today's dark world so conclusively i can say that uh, equality is in your hands you don't need to ask somebody to give you powers only thing is you need to assert yourself and help yourself uh, there are 10 roles for women which we have just spoken and uh, you can start taking up whatever possible role you feel like and uh, start connecting the whole world and declare that vasudhaiva kutumbakam that is world indies indeed is a family you know to the whole world so wishing you all success i thank you and thanks for giving me this opportunity to talk to you today thank you thank you dr murthy and you have given very vital information and you have encouraged and motivated almost the whole world of women because the horizons that are not in our mind were also being uttered by you we are looking forward to getting more information from you kindly circulate it through whatever medium you have otherwise international conference this whatsapp group is the simplest group in which you can first float the informations that we can have such that we can join contribute more and more to the activities of wcpa or pentagon or other motivational activities of women so with this i very quickly pass over to my next panelist learned madam dr harsha merchant is madam there i think she has joined madam harsha merchant Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, madam. Okay. Welcome. We are looking forward to your good words, Harshadi. Please um, come to the panel. Uh, start your start your day. First of all, hearty congratulations <laughs> to each and every one for this International Women's Day. Yes, every day is ours, but this one is a special, so special congratulations. Just now, the speaker has told, and yes, we want to contribute ourselves and enroll our name without any hesitation. We would like to enroll ourselves. Okay, by uh, dignitaries on this side, all the, the Professor Lura Ayo. Hemlata Ji, Usho Ji, Ma'am, Dr. Seema, and all the dignitaries. Yeah, uh, I would like to start and uh, continuing with this. Uh, just now, the uh, speaker which uh, he has told, I think I will continue with that only. Okay, what are the exactly role of the women? Yes, we have to ensuring the effective and smooth implementation of. all the campaigns run by the state government 
of the uh, central government and creating system where benefits given by the government through schemes and other mechanisms should reach the targeted groups and beneficiaries. Uh, and to name a few, Pradhan Mantri has given so many Lakpati. I, I will then uh, uh, elaborate if time permits. Lakpati Didi, Digital Banking, uh, then uh, Drone Didi, Ujwala Yojana, PM Avas Yojana, Jandan Yojana. But it is not reaching up to the beneficiary groups. So here it our role comes okay, we have to take this so that it can reach and targeted beneficiaries how connecting and coordinating with leaders and other personalities in social political domain connecting with various government officials and office bearers of various organization and working in social political domain Representing the organization on various public forums, debates, program, programs, and events specially crafted for women. Increasing engagement of women electorates with our campaign and providing them fast track solutions for their problems. Because what happens, even though their problems are there, there are no fast track solution and it goes on lingering. No, here comes our role. Okay, we have to be mentor, facilitator to them so that we can implement this. Stay abreast of current political development and analyze policies to assess the impact on women. Generate reports and trends and challenges and opportunities related to women's participation in social political domain. Build and maintain a network of women leaders, policymakers, and influences to facilitate collaboration and partnership. And the main thing is undertake research projects focused on gender dynamics in politics, providing data driven insights these are the things we where our role comes and the role requires passionate and female who can advocate for women empowerment in the social political sphere continuing to organization commitments to diversify equity and inclusion so we have to train hands on experience dive into political world and get practical insight how networking and opportunities to be created expand your horizon professional network and opportunities to connect with leaders from the grassroots levels mentorship learn from the experienced leaders and widen their circle of knowledge and in this sector diverse opportunities Young and dynamic females and our society will experience diverse opportunities to excel their career in social political domain. Unique platform, it is that representing matters. We are the change agent. So be a catalyst for change and empower her to the pedagogy. Here, yesterday also one program was there that we have collective presented that what are the things we for women they require they have elaborated seven key points that is to say financial aspect rocket science generally these girl, uh, girls young girls and women thought oh it's a rocket science so it is not our arena are now nothing like your rocket science whatever you are doing at the grassroots level is also one kind of rocket science don't go for these big big words leadership invest more in this and social leadership here leadership means they think oh very big uh, boardroom should be required black suits and tie people are come and here if they have presented the data 70 percent of the women are actually working at the grassroots level for the uh, women course but only 17 percent are there the equal rights not given to the female again only 25 percent male members are there at the topmost level why it is so why those their voices are not to be heard it should be taken into account another thing is value their voices if they are speaking if they are telling their problems 
value it otherwise yesterday it was told ki even though the problems which were there uh, uh, before 2 uh, 3 years and narrated even though the same is there today also so what's the benefit so their values that vo voices should be valued green and clean economy new ways of generating wealth invest more in actions which can uh, change for example solar energy climate change helping the economy care work yes how you will define and address care work suppose in india i don't know about other countries but in india we feel cooking is our responsibility female's responsibility no now learn that you should share <coughs> it is all responsibility and like me time there should be you time also then uh, ma'am should i continue for 2 3 minutes thank you continue please Okay, thank you. Then care work and then um, reshape and restructure and overcome the challenges, save many other lives. So healthcare sector, 70% women are uh, really working for that. But leaders only 25%. We have to make that gender norms, gender health and gender stereotypes in men. And they see men are natural leaders. Nothing like that. You are natural leaders. Come on, believe in yourself and come on. So income, autonomy and new jobs created on hands pay social dividend. India 2019, where the gap lies, value the ground level women are missing. Community level and state level, national level, let them come up. Connect and make sense what these community workers face. Special health group, uh, special health group workers, nurses, midwives, also listen to their problems, able to bring light for them, but no change in policy like COVID care, salary, social security, policies to be changed. How? Writing articles, interview and raise their voices, uh, increase the representation in that area, advocate for increasing participation of women, how to contribute in policy change, equity and diversify. So we have all these kinds of things where we have to regulate care work, commitment to collective discipline for that solidarity is required, gender sensitization, lifelong learning that is unfolding reality and representation, debate of culture of tolerance, resolving your differences yes we might have differences so what we have to resolve through dialogue aesthetic in politic disclosure should also be there so here i would say what actually women wants she wants respect give her respect it is not that she wants crores of rupees or uh, higher position only no give the respect which she deserve respect economically respect her ideas let her decide decision power should be there we are not asking her decision when the suppose if i want to uh, buy flat or i want to buy to, uh, buy a bungalow we never ask her decision what to do what why while cooking we will ask but here no no so in property also their equal rights are there let them say so I have given few uh, few uh, examples. Colonel Pooja Rotela, Major Somia is a flight engineer. Captain Shiva Chauhan, Siachin me uh, kar rahi hai. And we have content creator themselves. They are producer, they are director, they are editor, actor, anchor, dancer, singer, everything. So they don't have to depend. So this is the new area where we you can start content creating themselves. And these digital content creators should be respected. Yesterday only Pradhan Mantri has given 23 awards. Drone Didi is one of the inspired inclusion for the agricultural flag, Kalyani Patil, uh, con conservation of water, Jayanti Mahapatra, she has gone for the Bakri Palan, that is to say goat, 
husband daddy language pool should be there and content creator mobile phone exhibition should be this tourism should become nirja banot given her life to save the another and here in mumbai there is one 96 year old hansa ben balkrishna mehta for dada saheb phalke international award given to her for excellent social activity activist and best extraordinary social activist in asia's top 100 We have given her name, a visionary leader, mentor, harboring of transformation, social influence, and a teacher. She is very much here, living here in South Mumbai, and doing her work at the age of ninety-six. We these are the inspiring stories where we can say, "Okay, yes, at all the level, poor or rich, aged or young, all can contribute, and sky is our limit." Thank you very much for listening. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Harsha. Thank you so much. <coughs> yeah, we do agree with you, and congratulations and thank you for giving us the slogan that inspire and grow. And all, every one of you have been telling that women are doing, and there is so much to do. Sky is the limit. Only thing we should catch hold of a proper direction. Yeah. With this, very quickly, I pass over to Dr. Kichori uh, Kichori Das Ji, Madam. I invite you. You are, uh, and we are waiting for your learned. We are waiting for your <laughs> learned points on your particular subject. Please come to the panel and start. Thank your you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, your participants, your panelists, your guests, and everyone. A warm welcome to everyone. Those who are from outside, those who are not Indian, but they are in our heart. And my dear friends, I feel that I am a human being first. I am not a woman first, because we are celebrating a World Women's Day, International Women's Day. When I am talking about women, I feel that I am out of that humanity. But first, I consider myself that I am a human being. Then I consider myself a human being, and I feel proud that I am a woman, and I am a creator. I am a dreamer, and basically, I am finds between our life after birth till our death, whatever it may be. but we should feel proud that we are women and the entire cosmos entire globe entire earth entire humanity rests in our womb it grows through our womb so we should consider ourselves that we are performing the duty of the almighty and we are the representative of god and male members those who are our partners those who are brothers husbands fathers sons whatever it may be they are neither superior nor inferior they are neither helping us nor they are exploiting us they are actually they are our co-worker they are our participants for the growth of the entire universe for the development of the entire universe for the for establishment of peace in the world and that has to sustain unless and until we will accept the existence of the both male and female male should respect to the female and female should respect to the male from the core but that they both are human being and we are here to play the role anything cannot be happened if we will not do the things in time two things are very important in our life we should consider how many of you or how many of us have observed this or not i don't know exactly but i would like to say that uh, 1857 has two in incidents all over the world one is Famous for first world of uh, first war of independence in India, that is Sipahi Mutiny, 
it was happened in the year 1857 and at the same time in the year 18, 1857 the first revolution against inequality was taken place in new york amongst the women so there are two coincidences women they fought for their rights that they were getting less salary than the male and here in india we were fighting for our freedom so if we we'll compare there is a contradiction we have achieved our freedom and now india is one of the most superpower country of the world it is going to be the vishwa guru but where lies the status of our women where lies the status of our women that's why this year the uh, content the theme has uh, has been fixed that uh, uh, invest in women accelerate progress and uh, and inspire inclusion inspire inclusion the thing is who will accelerate who will inspire it is a big question who will invest it is a matter to do some research who will invest the government or we ourselves i sometimes uh, sometimes i think that who will do for us if you will not die would you enjoy the heaven no so we ourselves will invest ourselves involve ourselves in the developmental process of course there are plans procedures everything the governments of the globe different governments of different countries they are doing lot but do you think that they are doing properly 195 countries are there out of 2 out of 95 2 are not taking part and our friend io is here she has already exp explained many things there is a discrimination between the growth rate of our women and there are so many reasons which will take time if we'll discuss but i want to say that unless and until we will include ourselves in the process of development nobody will intentionally include ourselves because we are excluded in many things as for example during the time of vote this election time so many programs so many plans so many schemes will be developed it has already been developed and what happens our women they are so emotional that they get themselves involved with getting a little benefit they don't think for the future our future is not confined with one vote ticket or anything for example now one train is moving towards ayodhya for example uh, today only i was discussing with somebody that uh, why are you uh, why were you absent in your work she told me that i had been to ayodhya why you had been uh, you had been to ayodhya she told me that two trains are going and they are sponsoring tickets in concessional buses only 1400 rupees we are spending and we are um, we are getting tickets and we are uh, going there enjoying everything and we are coming back to our home after two two days then i asked to that particular why you are getting this benefit no we are getting this benefit because we have taken the membership of such and such party it happens during our election and it happens to most of the ladies because we don't have specifically those who are not highly educated those who are actually not practical in their life they gets emotional and they are exploited in the name of inclusion they are exploited and they think that by giving an android phone or by giving some suraksha yojanas schemes or other things we will develop no nobody will develop like that one rupees uh, rice has made the people uh, 
useless in our country and women specifically in urban sectors about 40 percent of our women sorry about 40 percent of our uh, urban cities are having more slums slums are there and slum women are there they are engaged with different type of activities earning activities their participation in economic field is found to be very attractive but when they try to spend their money they cannot decision making process is found to be very defective in their families and even they are selected in political field they are elected in political field but when the decisions are taken they are not taken into consideration decision making process when they will be taking their own decision they will be able to take their own decision through their own confidence level then only they will grow so it is right time on our part to make them aware to inspire them our activity should be such that they will get inspired and they will come out automatically plans and programs have never made the people successful mind it those who are not intelligent those who are not laborious those who are not functional they cannot grow properly they will grow to a certain extent in another point is there that they are also not interested they are not trying to take risks risk taking attitude is not found i do have a data if time will permit i will share that during in managerial states uh, you will be surprised to know that today only i have collected that data that as per the data of periodical labor force survey specifically in india 18.8% women in 2020 and 18.1 in 2021 were able to take participation in decision making and they were taking the risk to take over the responsibility in higher post in two, in 2021 the highest forty one point five followed by Sikkim, followed by Sikkim that was thirty two point five, and in Manipur it was thirty point nine, and Andhra Pradesh it was thirty point three. The lowest representation was seen in Dadar and Nagar Haveli and Damon and Dew that was one point eight. In Uttarakhand it was three point four. Jammu Kashmir it was 4.6 Andaman and Nicobar it was 7.2 and in Bihar it was 3% another thing there are thousands and thousands of universities are there why women are not taking uh, why women are not considered as vice chancellor at higher level only few Specifically, if you count in India, there are only 46 to 47 vice chancellors. Although there are more than 1,000 universities, why they are not taking risks? Why they are not found as vice chancellors? Is this not a point to discuss? So, so please, we should consider inclusion doesn't mean that they will be included. They will be included through outward forces they should make themselves efficient they should develop their confidence in such a level that they will be able to grow and for this there is a need of social inclusion social inclusion is highly required because social inclusion which validated with social value um, variables like education social activities Starting from use of uh, forest uh, forest user committee, environment, drinking water committees, local women committee, religious committee, and many other in economic variables, occupation, income, uh, property rights, and so many things, e uh, economic decision, 
in political variables also decision making power political participation political communication political awareness presence in policy making level and all those things if they will be included in social they will be included in social harmony social inclusion will be made in them with their own quality then only they will develop their uh, self confidence and development will be possi possible <coughs> development it should be true development development it should be sustainable development development is na not meant for overnight not meant for only one night this development will help us i am very happy that i have got a platform where sustained ladies are there sustained women are there sustained women those who are having conviction to do something those who are having um, the right to conform themselves as a leader they are actually exercising their right through performing their responsibility only to claim right is also not important or it is not wise on our part because by providing some commodity to the women will not make them empowered rather we should give them a open platform where they can feel that this earth is there this home is there this country is there this recognition is more important than that of any anything past we should consider every human being every women being as human so that we will grow they will grow and everyone will grow thank you very much thank you very much kishori madam and it has been so inspiring and uh, so what do i say motivating that yes all of us should take the leadership uh, we should make others to learn to think learning to think and to be assertive at the same time to become the leader believe in themselves thank you very much kishori das madam and very quickly pass to my next very learned <coughs> participant and panelist dr pratibha tiwari ji dr pratibha tiwari ji a big welcome to you very quickly without hemlata uh, madam has already introduced you so we are very eager to hear you pratibha tiwari ji you are welcome to the panel and start your speech thank you very much madam uh, dr uh, himlata talesra madam my guide and my mentor uh, all the panelists and friends from overseas uh, professor laura and io am i audible madam yes yes madam very good very well mm, i'm very happy to come to this forum as a student of uh, professor himlata talesra and uh, we share the same uh, city from our uh, childhood and uh, we we were promoted into social services through uh, dr mohan singh mehta's philosophy uh, who has created and given the concept of krishi vigyan kendras to the country i am working in indian council of agricultural research where we get two kinds of projects one is sponsored by indian council of agricultural research and to some of the uh, other organizations like undp icarda uh, department of science and technologies fao who world bank these uh, give us uh, projects on for working on some problems recently uh, the, uh, the department of science and technology has given me a project we proposed a project on doubling farm women's income when uh, to me essentially empowerment means whether money changes hands or not to change uh, money we need to have some kind of entrepreneurship and to have entrepreneurship uh, i i associated this entrepreneurship with equality and empowerment of the women we promoted women grassroots level women into forming cohesive groups in the form of self help groups these self help groups were given training at our institute thorough training with several sessions running for days together 
and we promoted them in post harvest processing why post harvest processing because cooking uh, cooking meals is one of the responsibilities of women and that they are doing for uh, since millennium they are doing so i wanted to shift this cooking uh, uh, cooking skills into entrepreneurship so what you can make for the family you can make for the entire society also and in this way one thing that um, i propose that the god has given us responsibility the biological responsibility to care and rear the family as well as children so we cannot evade this responsibility we cannot say that we will not have children we will, we cannot say that we will not have farms we can we cannot say that we will not uh, plow our fields we will not take care of our animals or we will not take care of our uh, children but we can definitely say that we can have an entrepreneurship at our doorstep so that we earn as well as do take family care so india has a very strong family system and we wanted to maintain this uh, uh, family system along with imparting all our technologies since we are working in natural resource management institution at northwestern hot arid zone of india popularly known as thar desert we have technologies for water harvesting uh, for uh, solar energy utilization for uh, uh, livestock care for orchard development and improved agriculture when we say all these things we get some produce that produce we process at the household to process the things we people we promoted our women to have licensing through food safety institution fssai we promoted all the self help groups to have uh, licensing and this licensing we supported through a startup to 10 self help groups the startups were given the women were promoted to prepare the products and when pre- uh, the products were prepared we supported them in marketing and when the marketing uh, in the value chain we did one intervention that earlier it was Mm, the produce is produced at the farm then some middleman takes it away and then it comes to consumer so when we processed all the um, pro- produce at their farm level and uh, to my uh, happiness the millets year came and we primarily grow millets the pearl millet in our area so we processed pearl millet and we shortened the supply chain by evading the middle class middlemen and we directly uh, sold our products in markets the women who were not having a single rupee at their own they earned more than 1 lakh rupees over a period of 2 years and that is one of the very good experience in the process women got entrepreneurship they got uh, equality they got empowerment they got knowledge we promoted them to have uh, digital payments we received pay- digital payments we um, promoted them to have qr codes and uh, this way now they are very independent and we have proposed this model of entrepreneurship through tech ha uh-huh. second thing that uh, the availability of raw material so uh, if it is not there we um, we also uh, made their capacity in orchard development so whenever they have some fruits they will be able to process it as as well so all the raw material is available on their farm, farms only sugar they have to buy from market and the mm, whole product is processed earlier the farmers were selling their pearl millet at the rate of 25 rupees per kg but now after processing they are selling it at 400 rupees per kg that is one of the biggest achievement i feel and in the process women have been empowered they have uh, 
traveled to several sources um, several places along with us and in the process we all we we we, um, we did not have that um, uh, that we leave the uh, men alone we had a partnership we had a post in self help group that are, that is of a bookkeeper so we um, uh, engaged men for this bookkeeping and they supported us in marketing they took us to um, all the places and it was all a partnership kind of thing the entire family is having an enterprising unit you can come to our place in jodhpur district in rajasthan uh, these are uh, some of the places nevra road uh, nosar village padasla rohicha khord rohicha um, kala sar to these places you can come and visit and uh, um have uh, real experience our uh, work was recognized by g20 group when uh, our women participated in g20 um, uh, meetings where uh, the uh, wives of heads of uh, countries uh, met these women we uh, we have been given a stall at railway station falodi where these uh, products are being uh, sold through uh, one district one um, product uh, initiative of the government and uh, i thank the department of science and technology and indian council of agricultural resource for uh, giving us all the Uh, support for initiating this project and we also thank all the women who have participated in the study we took some uh, um, initial uh, consent from all the farmers to participate in the study and this model will be uh, pilot tested um, uh, in next year next 3 years through the krishi vigyan kendras or the farm science uh, farm science centers which were proposed by dr mohan singh mehta long back in 1975 and after successful implementation and the bottlenecks or the problems whatever we feel they will the project will be refined and implemented not only in india but throughout the world i thank you very much to all the panelists Uh, friends from overseas and my guide and mentor dr himlata talesra and dr uchashi guha and all the panelists for giving me this opportunity to share my views thank you very much thank you